It's wide open phones today. The toll free number to join us is 800 259 9231. Obviously, I'm going to talk about what's being called a worst case scenario Yemen chaos as the president flees, Saudi King's death poses new challenges for the U.S., major controversy, especially in the U.K., over half mast for the Saudi King. I mean, the Saudi king, his father was put into power by the British in 1903. By 1931, they'd taken over most of the Middle East. It was one Bedouin group that they gave rockets and hand grenades and stuff to and machine guns, and they just took over. Ended up taking over Syria as well. Uh, they are just absolute thumb at the mouth of demons. And a lot of the women and people that get kidnapped in this country get flown over there. I mean, it is Baron Harkonnen level craziness. Makes North Korean seven story pleasure palaces pale. And of course, the degenerate, pedophile filled monarchy uh, is endorsing these degenerates. They are puppets of the British monarchy. And the British monarchy is not British royalty. You haven't had a house there that was actually from those isles since William the Conqueror took over in 1100 and change. They overtook the Saxons. And of course, we're talking about the Norman, a Germanic group, a Viking, German, French. And then you expand out from that. It's not even German royalty today. It's a Transylvanian Germanic bloodline that runs it. And they are the scum of the earth. And they lobby for carbon taxes, global government. It is their plan we're living under with the robot takeover. And I guess, in their words, you know, they deserve to be in control. And I guess they kind of do from a survival of the fittest social Darwinistic view. Because they are the ones that finance the scientist 170 years ago. I don't know, 1850 or so plan was public in 1855. You know, I harp on this a lot because if people don't know that this is all planned out, I mean, when you know there's a world government scientific takeover planned out, it took them a hundred and something years to get it pretty much in place. We're now in the last few minutes of the ball game here in the next few decades. And God help us. If I was a self-centered person, I would just get out of here and move to the safest third world country I could, keep my head down, and then just constantly move and try to get away from the technology. Because it's not the technology itself's evil, it's that all of it is being deployed and rolled out where you pay for it and it has one function you think you've got it for, but really it's a total control mechanism. Like whether you ask for it or not now, the new iPhones and Droids have systems that monitor your breath, your heart rate, everywhere you go, what you do. People think it's so neat. They go, look, it knows everything I did. Yeah, it's a, it's a government surveillance imperial probe droid, in their words. You think smart meters are bad. I mean, do you understand, folks? This is not my opinion. I mean, I've got more, more interesting news than I could ever cover, and this be a riveting radio show you know, the kind of uh, science fiction porn, fear porn, apocalypse porn that we get called by the news. Yes, we are that, but not to get ratings to try to stop what's happening because it is going on. If you want to call fear porn, fear porn, fine. It's reality porn. It's truth is stranger than fiction porn. And let me tell you, it's very inviting to go plug into the matrix and play along with the system because there is another route, not run from it, but throw myself at the feet of the establishment, try to join them, try to spin everything that's happening, and then work for a position in the technocracy. But I don't want to interface with these machines, and it's a fraud. I'm not going to live forever. I'm going to lose my soul. It's all a giant cosmic con game. Everything the New World Order does produces death on the other end. It's a big scam. I don't want red carpets. I don't want big jets. I don't want to have everybody kiss my butt. I want to be left alone. But the new world order won't leave me alone. And I'll be overrun by the giant mass of dumbed down people if I don't try to reach out to folks. I can't just give up on humanity.
And I see people sell out to them all the time. That's why I can't even watch They Live. It's an allegory of what's going on when they're down there in the subterranean base and the aliens are in their suits with everybody else and they're getting everybody to sell out to them, bragging about how great they're doing. <laughs> God almighty. This is so, so real. It's so real. You know, I don't even want to get into this police stuff. I, because I understand the whole thing. And it's so hard to articulate because it's so complex and so subtle from both perspectives. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to break it down as best I can. But let me just do this. Let me just do this. I will cover it at 8 after next hour. And I'll play these clips. I'll go to your calls right now. And I'll get into the Saudi Arabian king dying and all the rest of it. I was watching CNN this morning to monitor their transmissions. And you would have thought that Jesus himself had just died with the king dying. And the Saudi royalty is just about as bad as it gets. And it shows how our CIA, it's not our CIA, it's the robber baron's CIA, works to put dictatorships and oppressive regimes in worldwide. So, of course, they're working to do that here. And all they need now, with the, with the militarized police in place, is to start a war with the police. They've just got to find an ignorant enough group to do it, to seal the deal and get the civil war going. And the reason I harp on that is that's their whole ball game domestically, just like it's their ball game in other countries. Ukraine, Yemen, Syria, Libya, Angola, the Congo, Indonesia, everywhere else. It's just frustrating knowing how right I am, having the whole battle plan. And then it's, it's all public is what's frustrating. And I can't find many government people or many intellectual scientists, PhDs, that even have close to the grasp I have. Do you know how scary that is? Because I'm not on a power trip. I don't think of myself as that smart. And then I do talk to medical doctors, scientists, genetic engineers, and people, and they go, yes, we know. It's very sad. That's why we've moved to the country and just want to try to raise our children and hope we can have some life before the overwrite comes. I can't tell you how many times I've been invited to some cookout or to some mansion you know, out in the hill country, and, and, and you know, you're looking at people's uh, diplomas on the walls. Nobody else at the party is, and you strike up a conversation with somebody, and then they go, oh, yes, I have I've know your show. I don't really tune in because I separately learned about this when I was a graduate student at MIT, and, and you know, my wife and I and the children, we're just here, you know, waiting, and, oh, these are some of our friends. They're, 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 they understand as well. And you're just like, so you're just not even going to fight it. You're just going to go run off to the countryside and just wait for this to come. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. Or you got the Eric Schmitz running around giggling with Bill Joy and all the other elites going, yeah, everybody's going to be exterminated. Ha <laughs> ha, world government. Yeah, micro mosquitoes are going to suck your blood. Bill Gates is coming out with those. Forced inoculations. It's all being announced. Schmidt comes out and announces brain chips, you know. We need a graphic or somebody out there, a cartoonist, to, to show 1947, the television, and, and no longer are people around the table eating dinner. Now they're sitting there looking at the television. It's now the father figure. It now gives all the orders. And so daddy's comfortable with it. The first messages are pretty much in line with daddy. So daddy says, this is good. This is good. We're, this is good food. This is good water. Lines up everybody to do what it says. A couple years later, it changes a little bit. Daddy doesn't like that, but he's got shows he likes. Mama's got shows she likes. Junior and little 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 Betty, they've all got shows they like. See, it's all compartmentalized now, the programming. 
all war gamed out on record. And then you go from television to the flat screens and the computers and the handhelds to the glasses to the contacts to the implants. And you can see the television evolve towards from the proto matrix to the matrix. And then you discover back in the 70s, the National Federation of Scientists, 